Alright, yes, yes, people, it's your boy Danny Dreams, and we out here in Bongo. You're watching Arakatiza Bongo. Stay locked. Sana mtazamaji wa harakati za bongo uh, Hii hapa ni Moja kata sema mbao napata story zote za burudani Kutoki hapa hapa nyumbani Tanzania Na leo tuko na mgeni Kutoka West Africa, Nigeria Daniel uh, Tupigia na story kusiana na kitu ambacho kime mfanya aje Tanzania Na nini ambacho kime mfanya aje Tanzania Daniel what's up? I'm good, I'm good Asante sana brother <laughs> How you doing? Man I'm feeling good in Zuri sana you know, so yeah, I'm feeling good, fresh, out here in Bongo. Um, Nigeria and the Bongo, and I drew a Swahili kidogo dogo. Who teach you Swahili? I mean, I have lots of friends from Tanzania. So, I mean, I studied in Malaysia, so most of my friends that I connected with are Tanzanian. So, yeah, and I just picked the word. It's a lovely language. You guys speak it with passion. Like, Mambo VP, you know, Kwapi, you know, enjoy. <laughs> so yeah, that's how I learned, basically. This is your first time to be here in Tanzania? Um, No, this is not my first time. My first time in Tanzania was 2015. Um, I was brought for a show in Arusha, you know, so yeah, that was my first time. And I was like, I have to come back again to Tanzania, you know. You love Tanzania? I love Tanzania. I love Tanzania. You're welcome. Asante sana, brother. So uh, what makes you to come here this time in Tanzania? Um, I dropped a couple of songs in Nigeria and I just felt like Tanzania was a place where they didn't know about me before. I came for a show and the response was great. I was like, okay, I need to come back here and spread my wings, preach my gospel, my music, Danny Dream's music, you know. So yeah, that's why I'm out here. Link up with any artist from here in Tanzania? Oh, uh, I've tried, you know, but so far so good. I've done a song with a lady called Naomi Sia. And then there's this boss, I call him boss, Jinako Wara Wara. You know? Why you call him boss? Because, I mean, you know, I, I believe he's a superstar here in Tanzania. Because before I met him, I asked around about people like, yo, I'm trying to meet this person. And everyone loves him. His song is everywhere. Then I finally met him in person. It was so cool. So for me, I think being very popular and famous, and yet you're so cool, you deserve to be a boss. That's what a boss has been about, been all about, you know, so. Have you heard about him when you were in Nigeria? Yeah, I've heard a few songs, but I didn't really know, you know, who this person, but I know this year, this song, I'm like, okay. Then I came to Tanzania, I was like, oh, alrighty, you know. Uh, which artist do you like to meet with? Um, Kunde Boy, you know, Kunde Boy. Why Kunde Boy? The, the one? Out of the old... I wouldn't say the old Tanzanians in the old Tanzanians that do music, but I think he has a, a vibe with the Nigerian kind of music, you know. So yeah, I would love to do with him. I would love to do with Nandi. Nandi has a beautiful voice. Mm. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. Have you heard them before when you came here in Tanzania? Yes, I've heard of Kunde Boy. I've heard of Nandi. I've heard of a lot of them. I've heard of Vanessa. I would love to do something with Vanessa too, you know. I've heard of Mimi Mars. I've heard of Ray. I've met Ravani and Diamond before. Funny thing was when I came for a show in Arusha, it was me and Diamond backstage only. And Ravani was just, you know, backing up for. So I used to, I was talking to him. I don't know if he sees me, if he would remember, but we were just vibing. I'm like, yo, man, you have a good voice. You're the one singing why damn one is performing and doing all that i said well yeah he's very patient i mean look at him now he's a superstar so yeah i would love to work with damn one mention every one of them <laughs> ray vani everybody you know but you know my favorite tanzanian artist i don't know his name but i know this song oh mamu <laughs> Yeah, I love that song, you know, because it's like that's local bongo flavor. And I watched the lady turning up. What's that thing called? Um, um, hey, Kibao Kita or something. Then the lady. Kibao Kata. Hey, Kibao Kata, <laughs> man, that's dope. You know, so yeah, um, I mean, I love Tanzania vibe. I love bongo music because it's like the kind of song you want to dance to, and that's what Africa is all about, you know. Have you contract with them, uh, Kondi Boy, Nandi? Um. For now, I don't know the way to reach out to them, but I believe if I drop more music, you know, good music with good people, then definitely it will be easy to reach out to them. So, yeah. So, why you choose Tanzania to, to, to introduce your music here? Um, 
I would just say this. Tanzanian people know good music. They love to dance. Yes. They know good music. They appreciate good music. And they love to dance. I mean, I could have chosen to go to Ghana or Kenya or Uganda or any of these places. But and I've been here before. I've been to Ghana before. But I just vibe with Tanzania. And within me, I think my ancestors are from, you know, Maasai with my forehead. <laughs> Okay, uh, there is some rumors say that Nigerian artists uh, discriminate others artists who are not Nigerian. <laughs> wow, really? Where, where's that rumor coming from? I don't think so, man. Because um, I, know, I know Nigerians can be quite proud from afar. And the reason why we do that, or most people, let me say most people do that, is because, you know, Nigeria, it's like a lot of people. They're 200 million. And... We all hear different things about Nigeria. Most are not true. But notwithstanding, everybody has to be protective of themselves because you don't know what the next person has in plan for you. So we keep this face like we are proud just to push you off. But in other words, just we protecting ourselves away because we don't know who is who. But if you're so cool, you have a good mind, you would come close. There's no way you come close and he would ignore you. So coming back to the question saying discriminating, Nigerians don't discriminate. For example, Bonaboy has done a song with Diamond. It's done a song with Conde Boy. Did a song. Uh, they did a live performance, Coca Cola, with Vanessa. Then we have um, is it Pato Rankin? The list is long, man. There is um, um Mayoku and Revani. There is um, the list is long. There's a lot of them doing songs with Tanzania, so they don't discriminate Tanzania. And I mean, in Nigeria, they play lots and lots of Tanzanian music. Navikenzo, Jinako. Vanessa, I mean, and we all vibe to this in our club, so there's no discrimination anywhere. Okay, uh, how your music doing in Nigeria? Um, I would call myself an up and coming artist, but the radio, the DJs have been showing me lots of love, and the fans, oh, I mean, I used to have when I came back to Nigeria, I used to have 1,000 followers on Instagram, but since I started, you know, getting like releasing my songs, I've released like two, three songs so far officially. And the radio keep playing, showing me so much love. So that way they ask, like, who is this person? When the radio tag me, they follow me, you know. So and my followers, I have, like, almost 12,000 followers. It's so little, but I appreciate it. So, yes. And now, this year, I just want to collaborate with popular artists, drop good music. Nigeria or in Tanzania? No, no, with Tanzanians and Nigeria, basically. I mean, it's Africa. I don't like the fact that they have to separate us, West Africa, East Africa. Well, we have black skin. When I walk on the road, yeah, you know, people speak slightly to me and I go like, yeah, wait, wait, mambo, mambo, you know, but, but at the end of the day, we're all black Africans, you know, so yeah, the music cross over everywhere, so. Uh, I wish you uh, good luck. Ah, thank you very much, brother. Sante sana. Anything you wanna say to your friends? Um, well, I would say you guys should watch out for me, and you should follow me on Instagram. I am Danny Dreams. That's hat I A M Danny Dreams. Follow me and watch out for my video with Jinako. Watch out for my songs and my EP is coming out as well. So yeah, just stay tuned and follow me. I won't let you down. How long you have been here in Tanzania? Um, I would say four months now. I've been back and forth. Uh, um, but I'm Toto. Yeah, I'm Toto. I'm good. I believe that's what he said. <laughs> I'm Toto means hot. Yeah? Yeah. Right? I'm Toto. You get a chick? Ah, are you sure we should say that? Yeah, now. I, I mean, I've met a lot of female friends, a lot of beautiful ladies. Yeah, and you know, so yeah, I mean, I have a female friend. So that's the word I would say. <laughs> really? A friend. Yes, I have a female friend. <laughs> so that's the word. And let's keep it off the camera for now because we are still in the friend, you know. Mode. So hopefully she would fall in love with you know this Nigerian boy. So yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, do you like uh, Tanzanian girls? Yes, yes, I love Tanzanian women, man. Nakupenda sana, dada, nipo Tanzania, nakupenda sana. Thanks for your time. Daniel. You're welcome, brother. You're welcome. Alright, yes, yes, people, it's your boy Danny Dreams, and we're out here in Bongo. You're watching Arakatiza Bongo. Stay locked. <laughs>